Hello friends. I'm reaching into my bag to see who is going to have this love magnet reading right now. And we have Gemini. Gemini, you got yesterday's reading, so you have to wait till a different day. So let's see who it's going to be. <laughs> and we have Taurus. Okay, Taurus, we're just finishing your season, and now we're into Gemini. And what is it that you can do to prep yourself for something new when it comes to love? Whether or not you're in a relationship or not, it doesn't matter because um, single people have certain desires when it comes to love, but people that are in a couple have equal desire for deep connection, maybe even more so, because sometimes you can need um, like a transfusion to get the blood pumping again, so to speak. So you can see your chair is over there. So please take a seat, Taurus, and we'll get started. I'm using my True Love Oracle deck for the, our, our base of this reading. And we have the Inner Peace card. We have the Sacred Woman. I've been getting some messages about the Divine um, Feminine lately. Oh, how interesting. Okay, Taurus, let's take a look. A lot of times Taurus um, gets a little bit of a bum rap because they are so loving, like Ferdinand the Bull, you know, strong, but so deeply loving and um, able to express themselves affectionately. Uh, in fact, that can be a real important part of connection for some Tauruses is physical affection. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab these cards so we can see them. Because we can be dis um, distracted by the view, right? Blessed here. But at any rate, we have the distorted feminine, sacred woman, and inner peace. So, Taurus, it looks like this is a time when you're coming to grips with your strongest side. Um, you may be familiar with the terms yin and yang and yin being the feminine and yang being the masculine energy and it's a it's a polarized pairing you cannot have one without the other there is um, if you look at our universe and the world around you you can see that uh, there are opposites all over that when they're kept in balance you can really achieve major things now in the world right now being able to be, I'm speaking to women because I am one, um, but these readings are, are about the energy. And so as you're drawn to this reading, you're in the right place at the right time. You want to make sure that as you approach your love life in June, that you have a strong inclination of what attracts people to you, what pulls people to you magnetically where they can't help themselves. They just want to be with you or repelling people, having strong opinions and being misunderstood sometimes and really feeling like people are repelled. Part of that comes from the distorted feminine. Women who are, have a strong personality and are high achievers can be natural at the yang energies. And it, the idea of how to be a female without being weak, without being seen as weak, or um, stupid, quite frankly, because, or bitchy, right? All of those things can come into play. So I love that the sacred woman energy is at the center of this, because we all are yin and yang. Each one who's listening to this has masculine energy and feminine energy. And it, right now, in this particular reading, it looks like we need some healing and some balance in the feminine side of things and getting our masculine or our yang side to stand down a little bit. So let me grab my cards and get some clarity on this and see what advice the universe has for us. Let me turn this so that I'm not used to doing read. I like being able to take my readings wherever I want to go. It's such a beautiful evening. Okay. What is it that Taurus can learn from tonight when it comes to balancing out the yin and yang? 
the very natural energy that is a part of our humanity. What is it in the roots of who we are in our family history, <laughs> you tell him Murphy, that will deeply settle anything that's making our Tauruses nervous or concerned going into our love life for June. And we have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, excellent. I love, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the world. Okay, so here's your carrot, Taurus, okay? Why is it worth it to do this balancing? Why is it worth it? Everything is starting again. There's a completion of a cycle here, okay? Um, so regardless if you're a single who's just coming, there's your chair over there. Anyway, if you're a, a single who's coming to a place of really being ready to step into being a couple, or you could be in a couple and you're really ready to step forward in a new role within that couple and embrace something new. Um, this, the two eights, that we're seeing here, the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, are signs, the, of course, of the infinity um, symbol. And the idea that what's being done right now is like a tattoo on your soul. There's a mark going into your karmic bank account right now. The things that you've endured, the patience that you've had, and your willingness to really step out of your comfort zone for the next step. You're on your way. You are the only one that can stop your progress and get in your own way going forward. The nine of pentacles in between these two eights is often called the mini empress. This is someone who's manifesting on the outside. Things are coming together. You're seeing evidence of it. It's time to use your magnetism right now and, and do some overt intention making when it comes to your love life. Get out a piece of paper and a pencil, do it the old fashioned way. From this vantage point right now today, what makes an ideal partner for you? Whether you have one or not, what is it that you want to see developing for yourself when it comes to love this June? This is your chance to get very serious about what's coming forward, okay? So let me just draw one more card for us from the True Love deck. What is our final message for Taurus? Personal magnetism is something that is easy for you to do. It is when you are in a state of calm ease and relaxation physically. The softer your body is, the more magnetic you are. No kidding. So being at ease and calm is the key. Let's see what our last card is. Soulmates. Here we have the world cards telling me that you're just finishing a cycle and getting ready to move on to the next. How's that for a great close? I will be posting more readings for love as we get into June. This is kind of a sneak peek, but uh, I'm excited for your prospects. Balance out that divine feminine energy. And um, let me, you know what? I really didn't give you a bit of advice about that. When it comes to wanting, in fact, I'm going to put an article into the comments that gives um, an experiment for how to empower your female energy. I'll include that. Okay. Have a wonderful evening. Go forth and prosper, Taurus. I love you guys.